Hey guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm talking about The Flash. So let's start talking about this episode. So uh, we actually start this episode right from where we left off um, with the particle accelerating going off and not knowing where Barry is. And we quickly find out that Barry is stuck in the Speed Force, which if you saw my last review, I think a lot of us kind of expected him to be in the Speed Force after that. And it's him being... Haunted by the Speed Force itself, uh, by people he knows, uh, or at least by images of people he knows, like Joe, Iris, his father, um, and his mother. So it's him gaining control of the Speed again by getting over the grief of his mother, and that kind of happens by reading a book, which I guess was really quick, but it happened. Uh, and our villain that's going on in our present time in the regular universe is a uh, girder from like a season ago and they do this zombie spin on him which if you don't watch i zombie he's actually a character on that show which i kind of wish they more made more references to because i thought that's what they were doing and it's kind of weird that they didn't they just kind of make references to the walking dead instead but you should have made a reference to i zombie um yeah, so we get to see a, a zombie version of him. And it's Iris and Cisco really teaming up to try to figure out um, what to do with Girder, and it's not going so well. They, they try the hardest. Uh, and by the end, you know, Flash comes back, saves the day. Uh, and it's up in the air what's going to happen with Iris and, and Barry. Iris is actually the one who saves Barry and says, hey, take my hand, let's go back to our world. Uh, and uh, we'll see where that relationship goes. Uh, and now, of course, from the cliffhanger from last week, we had um, Wally and Jesse get hit by the particle accelerator. Uh, it doesn't seem like anything really happened to Wally yet. I'm sure, honestly, probably season finale, we'll see Kid Flash uh, be born. Uh, and Jesse, hilariously, um, it was just kind of like unconscious throughout the whole entire episode in a coma. Of course, you know, throw back to Flash, the pilot, and, and his origins. Uh, but she just rolled around, you know? They, they're just like, oh, well, we can't leave Jessie in this room. Let's bring her in this room. That way everyone remembers she's here. Oh, well, you know, she's unconscious. Bring her back into that room. I think she just traveled all of Star Labs. That was her job in this episode. But there was a really great scene. Once Barry does come back, um, he's the one who awakens Jesse. And he says, I know what I says, I know what I have to do. And he touches Jesse with the speed force and she wakes up. So uh, it's very much insinuated once again that Jesse is connected to the Speed Force and we don't really get to see the aftermath of that though. I'm guessing hopefully we'll have to wait uh, next episode to maybe finally see Jesse and her speed. Maybe we'll have to wait the finale. I don't know. Uh, but they are taking their time with Wally and Jesse. Let's just say that. I thought that they would get a little bit more accomplished in this episode. Honestly, especially with Girder, I thought they could have, um, fought them uh, with their speed and, 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 and show that they were the heroes of the day, but I guess, you know, they had to bring Barry back and, and make him defeat him, but I thought it would have been kind of cool to uh, utilize Wally and Jesse in that way, but Wally doesn't even have a speed, and again, Jesse was unconscious throughout the whole episode, so that was a little disappointing. I I'm sure as I rewatch season two, I'll be like, oh, I understand why they did that, but it's me waiting impatiently, and just like, I want to see their speed. Uh, I think Jesse might come a little quicker, though, just because we, we saw a real hint in this episode. Um, if she doesn't become Jesse quick, that will be devastating, because how many hints they've had throughout the, the last couple episodes, and especially that scene. Uh, but, you know, I really enjoyed the whole Barry flashbacks. Um, I mean, there were, I will say there was a lot of screen time for it. I don't know if we needed as many scenes for it, but I enjoyed them, and uh, I obviously enjoyed the scenes with his mother, even though I thought his grievance uh, towards, um, you know, his mother, I guess, um, Quick re uh, quickly resolved. I know it's like the whole book and there was that memory, I guess, um, and it, it was only fit in one episode, but this grief has been going on for over two seasons, so I feel like it should have been more than just that one scene, but uh, still a very impactful scene, and I and again, I enjoyed Barry 
being um, visited by those people. And I especially enjoyed Iris in this episode. I've been complaining, saying Iris hasn't had a lot to do, and I'm, I'm glad that she is kind of in the forefront of this episode to save Barry and to see where their relationship is going. So I enjoyed that aspect. Um, I also even enjoyed Henry. You know, Henry, I still don't know what place he's going to hold in the show, but at least he's going back into Barry's life because that whole sideline story of, like, I can't be here didn't quite make sense. Uh, so it was nice to see him back. It was nice, again, just to see the fatherly figures and how they deal with these situations. You see that grow into this episode or uh, leak into this uh, episode. That was great. Um, and then we have a cliffhanger with Zoom uh, with all his Earth 2 villain friends. And, and Caitlin has to make a decision, does she want to stay or not? Which I feel like is a pretty easy decision. Uh, run. Caitlin, run. <laughs> because... Uh, she's played Damsel in Distress for a very long time right now, and I've been a little frustrated with Caitlyn's character, because I really do like the character, uh, love Daniel Panavaker, um, who plays her, uh, but very frustrated with what they're doing with Caitlyn. Uh, I hope, uh, there's some payoff in the end of this season with how much kidnapping and doing nothingness in this season, uh, just being kind of this plot device a lot of the times, uh, so I'm hoping they do something with Caitlyn in the future. Uh, I thought Cisco obviously had a really cool, um, a lot of cool moments with the vibe stuff, so I was happy with that. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. Hopefully some of the supporting characters get a moment to shine. Um, this is definitely more of a Barry episode, even though I think this could have been a really cool episode to make the supporting characters shine a little bit more. But um, I think they just shine them out as they usually do. Uh, and, and yeah, the villain I think they could have done a lot more with. I was a little disappointed with that. Again, I was really excited for like the maybe I zombie references that they didn't really end up doing. Uh, and that goes back to Flash's one-shot villains not being as strong as that they could have been um, in the past. So uh, I thought this was a really good episode for Barry, um, but like I said, I think could have done a little bit more for some of the supporting characters. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.